Liz, congratulations. That was that, that was some more. I mean, how was it in there with a huge crowd sort of cheering for your opponent and sort of you against the world in there, wasn't it? <laughs> I, you know, uh, the support that she received from her country is what I anticipated. I have a lot of respect for the fact that they did support their fighter. You know, some places you can go and you can fight outside of your country and they won't receive that same support. So I have nothing but enthusiasm that they did support her. And it was exactly what I anticipated. What I did anticipate was for her to be as tough as she was. Were you, uh, sorry, were you nervous at all going to the judge's decision that you were in her hometown? Absolutely. The last thing I wanted, I was really trying at, at every opportunity to try and finish her and submit her and make sure that I did finish this fight because the last thing I wanted to do is go to a decision, especially in somebody else's country. Even in my own country, I don't fare well, so I certainly didn't expect it to go in my favor in somebody else's. Did you sense during the course of that fight that you needed to sort of game ground on the scorecards as the fight went on? Did you feel you were behind getting into that final round? You know, I wasn't thinking about the score, I was just thinking about the finish. That's all I was looking for, was opportunities to finish the fight and not let it go to decision. I did not want to, in any circumstances, let it go to decision. When you're in a fight like that and you think you've got your game plan and you think you know what you're going to be presenting with in the upscore, and then you get a surprise, maybe she's tougher than you expect or she's throwing different things at you that maybe you weren't quite prepared for. How do you go about adapting to that mid-fight? Uh, the biggest thing was to stick to my game plan. A lot of times when I feel like it's not going the way that I wanted it to, and I, I kind of deviate from the game plan, and that's what can set me back and actually make me falter. So the biggest thing is just to stick with my game plan because it ultimately did work. And in terms of what's next for you, I mean, I would, I would guess a period of rest is probably what's coming up next for you, but... Uh, no, not at all. I want to get right back in there. I, the thing that I hate most is taking breaks. You know, I, I beg the UFC for fights all the time. All I have is a, a little gash. It took two sutures on my, on my head. That's it. I want to get back in there as soon as possible. Given where you are in the rankings right now, You've got your sights on anyone in particular. You want to be fighting up those rankings rather than someone below you, right? I want to fight for that belt. That's what I've been gunning for. Um, I don't care who's holding it. If Valentina is the one that retains it, then she's the one I want to fight. If it's somebody else, then I want that belt. You have uh, obviously a win over her. Um, how do you think that would go down a second time? Obviously, if she still has the belt, you managed to climb the rankings. How do you think that goes down a second time? I think it goes down the, similar to the way the first time. Uh, the first time I was uh, tricked, honestly, by the by the commission that I was fighting for the organization. I was supposed to fight her sister, who had just as little experience as I did, and said I, I went against somebody who had 10 years more experience than myself. Um, and it was just at that point, I wasn't willing to say no for an opportunity to fight, so I took it, and somehow managed to come out with the win. This will be very different. I've been training now for 10 years. I have a lot more experience, and I know that it'll be in my favor, without a doubt. You said Prague was a bucket list destination for you. Um, you've gone through fight week, you've had the fight, you've got the W. I mean, how, how special a week has it been for you? Uh, it was actually my birthday. Uh, so it seems like I always managed to be in fight week for my birthdays. So I, you know, it's nice for this time because six years ago when I fought Ronda, I didn't come out of fight week with a win, you know? And so it's nice to go home with it. And also just to be able that now I can enjoy the food. I've been wanting, like, I'm a big foodie. I love traveling to different places and trying food. So to finally taste the Czech food and the goulash and everything else has to offer, I'm so excited for that. And to see more of the countryside, it's been so beautiful. I just want to see everything the country has to offer because the little bit that I've seen, is just phenomenal. Do you know what decided for your win? What's that? What decided for your win that you win? What was the difference between you and the two of I'd have to review the tape. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to decide on uh, not only the strengths but the weaknesses that I made in the fight and so I can actually go back and review everything to see. Uh, but I know that, I mean, I controlled the cage. She wasn't dictating anything in the standing. I know I controlled the takedown. She didn't do any takedowns on me. I controlled and I was the only one that for submission attempts. So based on those three factors, uh, I can see how the decision went my way. Just how loud was it? We saw you trying to do the uh, post fight interview with Dan Hardy. Uh, I could not hear. You had to bail on it halfway through. I couldn't hear a single thing he said. I know I saw his mouth moving, but I, I just couldn't hear him over the crowd. So I was just like, I really apologize. Last thing I want to be is disrespectful to him when he's trying to interview and I can't answer questions. And then I really want to take the opportunity to thank all the people that helped me for this fight because I felt like it made such a difference. And to not be able to do that, I felt really bad for that because I really want to give him the credit that he's doing. You told us two days ago that basically, apart from get a W, your biggest wish to crack is to see Charles Bridge and the, 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 and the castle, and right? Wasn't it? I got to see the castle. Yeah, it when, was the bridge. When, it was also to see the clock. See when are you planning to see it? Actually? I'm planning to see it tomorrow. I'm really excited. I have plans to, to walk around and see the entire city as much as I can, and then uh, through the course of the next few days to venture out and see more and get just outside of this little small park. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.